Hey folks, we're back on this little Mini Cooper, got the axle shaft in. It helps when you click on the right part number to get the right part number. Okay, on this axle shaft, this is the end that goes in the transmission. The seal rides there, I like to put a little grease on there. I'm just going to use a little dab of wheel bearing, you don't have to get too carried away. Just a little smear here and there. And this is the snap ring that retains that that axle shaft in the differential part. Sometimes they're your booger even. And if you install that with a gap in that ring up, it's supposed to help. I got it up there. I'll put a little mark of grease. I'll get you down there and see what we do. Well, it's a little tight, a little hard to see in there. Maybe you'll see, maybe you won't. Again, I got the mark up so the ring is up. Get your snake in there. Get a little twist to help engage it. See what happens if I give that a little wrap on the end. That has, has not engaged yet. That looks pretty good. Then you give it a pull. Make sure that stays in. If it pops out, you got to do it again. We'll try this angle out. Again with the grease, just real light on the splines. Makes it nicer next time. And you should be able to grab this whole spindle arrangement, pull it out, raise that axle up in there. Get them splines to go together. Hey, just like that. See that axle shaft come out there. I'm going to start the nut on there just so I know where it's at. And we'll put the, put the ball joint back together, the tie rod back together. I'll snug this. And uh, then we're going to have to go and torque that nut and stake it. I'll bring you along when we get to there. I'm just buzzing that nut up with the impact. I will torque it. But sometimes you got to put some pressure on that. When that joint, the taper on it to hold it while you get the nut spun on on these lock nuts. I'll do a tire rod.
After you got the ball joint on, you can put your ABS sensor, wheel sensor wires back in their respective holders and your Bracos so you don't forget them. Now we got to top that fluid off, and the fill plug is right up there. It's got a 17 millimeter hex on it. This is best done with the wheel off. Or snug. <clears throat> and then I'm going to be in your way. So you just have to trust me. This is the oil that I'm putting in there. It's what's recommended. I'm going to top that off. And fill it up till it runs out that hole. And then you know, make a little mess, put the plug back in. There we are. Well, I'm going to put all this busyness back together, and we're going to fire it up and see if I can make the wheels go around. This will take a minute or two. Well, not sorry at all you didn't get to see me struggle putting all this plastic stuff back in here. Let's fire up see if the wheels go around. Get you over here. See if you can watch that hub. Hey, that's a win. That's a good enough connection that. Installs the engine. That's a win. We'll have tidy up here, put some wheels on, finish this. Got to service it, change oil and such. We're going to have a mini back on the road. Hoo-hoo! They're just little troubles. It's a mini. Thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe, please comment. Racer out.